Hey YouTubers, what's up? My name is Anemic Panda, aka Carrie, and welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you the stupidest 911 calls um, that 911 dispatchers has revealed. <laughs> um, yeah, so buckle up because I think this is going to be oh god i just can't imagine what these are going to be like so let's get into it okay so this woman called 911 because their sister was refusing to share their food at a movie theater oh god this is these are like i'm i'm just saying like they're probably going to infuriate me um this is ridiculous. Like, this is not what 911 is, is for. And I'm so sorry for these dispatchers that have to answer these types of calls that are non emergencies. I just, oh God, their job must be so hard. Um, okay, a call came from a woman who just got out of church and the drive through to KFC was too long. So she wanted an officer to come out and help. So she decided to call 911. I'm sorry, but how is that going to help being in the line for the drive through for KFC? Like, what would you think an officer would do? Like, how about you don't go through the drive through How about you, like, park your butt, get out of your car, and go into the actual, like, restaurant part and order? It's probably even quicker because everybody else is in the drive through Oh, man. I tell you, these are going to probably be like, ah. <laughs> okay. I had a guy call 911 just because he wanted to see fire trucks and ambulance with lights and sirens. He miscalculated. There was a cop too. And he was not amused. Dude spent the night in jail. Yeah. Because you can't call 911 if there's not an emergency. If you just want to see like fire trucks and ambulances and the lights, like why don't you just go to like, I don't know, a parade or something. They're usually in there. Like, isn't there like a Christmas parade or something? Or, I don't know, a state parade for something? July 4th? Uh, sorry, that's Canadian. July 4th. I, and I'm assuming that this is an American. I'm sorry for all the Americans out there. And I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this. But, um, but anyway, let's just say that is a ridiculous, like, reason to call 911 is so you can just see the lights like go to the stations I'm sure somebody would be happy to like turn on the fire truck lights and the ambulance lights for you like why didn't you just do that but anyways yeah you're gonna spend the night in jail <laughs> uh we had a call I worked for the ambulance service asking where the best place to get a bacon sandwich at four in the morning. Dude, like, have you not heard of Google? Like, just, just Google this stuff. Like, why would you have to call a 911 to ask a dispatcher who is, you know, trying to help people who actually have emergencies? Uh, like, I just, I don't get it. Like, we we have Google now. Google knows everything. Like just just do that. <laughs> okay. Uh this one. I received a call on the non-emergency line from a 90-something lady asking me what lamp she should put in her bedroom. I told her I did not understand and that the sheriff's office was not the correct place to ask. Eventually, she got up and said, fine, I'll call 911. They'll help me there. Uh, I tried to tell her that 911 would just go back to me and it's a misuse of an emergency line, but it was too late. 15 seconds later, 911 rings. I answer and lo and behold, it was a lady asking, what lamp should I get for my bedroom? Okay, I get it older people um especially 90 something okay maybe she's got i don't know like you know um and i'm totally forgetting the word of forgetting things so <laughs> 
I shouldn't be able to talk. Um, but yeah, maybe she has Alzheimer's or maybe she's just really lonely. She doesn't have family. Uh, but 911 is not the place to be calling for this sort of thing. If you have an like a question about this kind of stuff, like, hey, yeah, where my lamp should go? I don't know, like, go on Reddit? <laughs> no, I don't know. I She probably doesn't even know what Reddit is, but seriously, I don't know. Ask a friend. Ask, like, one of your family members. Don't call 911. I mean, yeah, you can get seriously uh, in trouble for misuse of an emergency line like 911. Like, you can get fined. You can go to jail. Like, just, it's not worth it. At least to me. <laughs> like, dude, just figure it out yourself. Put your lamp wherever you want. It's your place. Okay. A classmate of mine in sixth grade called 911 because he lost to his sisters in Hungry Hungry Hippo. Okay. Uh, sixth grade. So that's like what? Um, 11 years old? Okay, you should know better not to call 911 just because you lost in a game. I'm sorry that your sister won. It's going to happen. Some people win and some people lose. And kids these days need to learn how to lose at things because you all are becoming entitled little something somethings. Anyways, Hungry Hungry Hippos. Uh, oh God, that was such a loud, annoying game. Like my son wanted that game and I finally caved in and got it for him. But oh God, I'm so glad he doesn't really play it anymore because... Oh, give me headaches after a while. Okay, my mom, my mother was a 911 dispatcher. One of my favorite stories was a woman who called and reported that a turtle is on my porch and I don't know what to do. Okay, I don't know how old this person called. Maybe they're old, maybe... Maybe they can't bend down. Maybe they're, they got a disability. Maybe it was a huge turtle. Maybe it was a tortoise because those things are freaking huge and heavy. Or maybe it was a snapping turtle because uh, those things, you know, snapping turtles can be quite vicious. So I don't think this is a 911 emergency. You could have called like the non-emergency or just like the police station itself or animal control. I'm sure they would have come out and helped and... Anyways, not a 911 emergency if there's a turtle on your porch. Just saying. You got it? Okay. We're good? Yeah. Okay. Female customer once called the cops on my coworkers for scaring her too much. We work at a haunted house. Oh boy. <laughs> Why? would you call the cop well, for one why would you call 911 um but even if you call the non-emergency line for the cops what what are they gonna do like can you not resolve this yourself like aren't we adults can we not I don't know figure out a solution work through it um I don't know what a cop would do would just be like don't do this again, you know, don't be teasing her, don't be scaring her. Like, that's not gonna work, what the fuck? They're probably just gonna even do it even more. Oh, anyways, <laughs> that's just, no. Uh, okay, as a paramedic, I have responded to the same guy's house twice to find his phone charger. People, people people out in the world, out in whatever, wherever you are, whoever did this, wherever you are, don't call 911 to go find your phone charger. Ask a friend, ask a family member. How about you just go and look for yourself? I'm pretty sure it was in this same spot that you had it last. And I know a lot of people, you know, they'd be like, well, where did you have it last? And you're like, if I know, like, obviously I would have found it if I remember, like, the last place it was. But anyways, but I know I'm not going to call 911 to get somebody to come out there to my house to search for my charger. 
that's just like that just boggles my mind that somebody would even try not me but a close family friend worked talking worked talking 911 calls for years okay that sentence doesn't sound right but anyways she said the number of calls they get about how to get cooked turkeys at Thanksgiving time is just baffling. Oh my god. People, seriously, do you not read instructions? Do you not have a cookbook? Do you not have Google? Like, can you not just be like, Alexa or Suri, how do you cook a turkey? Like, come on, people, this is getting ridiculous. Like, if you don't know how to cook a turkey, then don't cook a turkey. How about you do something a little more simple, like a chicken or a ham, or just not cook at all and go out to a restaurant? Oh, it's just... Mm. When I was in EMS, and I'm not too sure what EMS stands for, maybe emergency medical services i don't know we were dispatched to a psych call when we got there this lady was standing outside her house ready to go to the hospital on the way to the hospital i was talking to her and trying to get her vitals when she told me there was nothing wrong with her she heard a family member was in the hospital and needed a ride so she called 911 to get a ride I'm sorry, but have you never heard of a taxi or the bus or Uber? If that was, uh, you know, recent, I don't know. I don't know when Uber started, but I don't even think we have Uber here yet. I think we have like Uber e Eats where like people get your food, but we don't actually have like the Uber services to like take you places. We just have taxi services where I live. Um, but still like, or can you not phone a family member or a friend? Like, uh, I'm sorry, but calling 911 to get an ambulance to come to your house to give you a ride to the hospital, it's not, it's not a free taxi. It's not your way to get around things. Like, what are you going to do? Call 911 to, like, take you grocery shopping? Like, no. <laughs> That's so asinine. Oh, my God. I'm just, these are... Ah. <laughs> I answered a non-emergency call because she had been transferred off the 911 line. It was 3 a.m. and she wanted to know what she could do about a business who blocked her on Yelp because she left a bad review. Took every ounce of self-control not to tell her just to go the F to bed. Yeah, I... um. I probably wouldn't have been as nice and I would just be like, you are crazy. Get off the phone and go to bed. It's 3 a.m. And if you left a bad review for Yelp and they blocked you, well, obviously that's why. And if you don't get that, then I'm sorry. You deserve to be blocked. Was it an actually bad review or will or were you just being like a Karen or entitled to something and you didn't get your way? That's what I want to know. I want to see this review and um and see what it was. I want to dig deeper and see what this is about cuz when people leave a bad review and they get blocked, it usually means that it wasn't really a bad review and that you just didn't get your way. Sorry. A teen called saying somebody was in a store parking lot selling drugs and he bought some for evidence. Sure. That happened. Yeah, you you, you bought them for evidence, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. I wonder what it was. <laughs> Sorry, but weed is legal here in Canada, and um, yeah, so, I don't know, I, I don't mind getting some, <laughs> I'm not going to get in trouble for it. A lady called because her neighbor's chihuahuas were having, uh, doing the, you know what, the nasty, 
and she thought that it was disgusting. So she called 911 because dogs were doing it in what in her in her yard or was she just like spying on her neighbors and she saw the dogs doing it and then was disgusted so she decided to call 911 i'm sorry but that's not an emergency and they're animals they're gonna do it because that's in their nature whether they're fixed or not they're gonna do it so if you're offended by that, then I suggest you look away and mind your business. My coworker answered a call asking how badly the bridge was backed up as they had diarrhea. Okay. I do suffer from some intestinal issues and so I can understand the emergency of having that happen. But it's not an emergency to call the emergency line of 911 for this. Um, if you want to know about the situation of your traffic, listen to the radio or Google it or, I don't know, phone somebody else. But if you're in your car, you probably shouldn't be, you know, on your phone unless it's like Bluetooth and hands-free and all that. So don't want to get in trouble. A girl called police because she could hear someone yelling Steve very loudly outside and was worried for Steve. She called back and stated that it just turned out to be a motorcycle engine. I'm sorry, but how does a motorcycle engine sound like Steve? Um, was it was it like a Harley? No, Harley wouldn't like make that sound. It's like probably some I don't know dirt bike. Yamaguchi or whatever they're called <laughs> but like seriously calling for a motorcycle engine to 911 oh. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay that one's funny but still not an emergency um but okay I I do get it that they were concerned for this Steve so you know maybe she thought it was an actual emergency so okay I'll let you pass on that one but a motorcycle engine a friend of mine is a police officer and once told me they've had people call over whose turn it is on the PlayStation I'm sorry but how old are you for one when you're playing this PlayStation Two, if you're an adult playing PlayStation and you're fighting over whose turn it is, I think you have problems and you should go seek help. If you're kids, I kind of understand that, but go ask your parent or a guardian or an adult, not 911, to phone police to, like, just take turns? I don't know. This this is pretty stupid. <laughs> it's pretty stupid. I'm sorry. But just take turns or figure it out if you're adults. Come on. I work for a small police station and once, but I once had 911 put through a caller who then requested that I patch them through a pizza place so they could order a pizza from a 911 only cell phone. Okay. I get that you're hungry and pizza is delicious and I would do any almost anything for a pizza, but I wouldn't call 911. And if you have a 911 only cell phone, I don't know, just go to a store ask to use their phone or find a payphone. I know that payphones now are pretty scarce in some areas and but I'm pretty sure like other major cities still have them around so why don't you just like I don't know do that. <sighs> I work 999 in the UK. Okay so if people don't know 999 is like 911 but it, for the UK people. And 911 is, you know, for uh, North America. 
But anyways, I had a guy call because he, he'd run for the bus, but it pulled away before he could reach it. So wait for the next bus or I don't know, get there earlier, you know, kind of figure out your life, get your crap together and time management better to get to the bus station on time but you don't call your emergency line because you missed the bus. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? That no, <laughs> you, you don't, that's not an emergency. I'm sorry that you missed the bus, but it happens. Life happens. It sucks. I've missed buses a lot when I used to take buses and that's why I decided to start driving is because I hated missing the bus all the time and I suck at getting up early in the morning so yeah like just figure your life out buddy but don't be calling 91 or 999 I should say anyway we had heavy winds so somebody called 911 to report that their lawn chair blew over Why don't you just paste, post that crap on Facebook or social media if you're really concerned about your chair blowing over in the heavy wind? I suggest if you're elderly, maybe you could just tell a friend or a family member. Be like, hey, my chair blew over because it was windy. But don't call 911 for it, okay? That, that's not an emergency. Had maybe somebody in the chair, well, it blew over and they, you know, became hurt. Then I could see why somebody would call 911. But not for this reason, okay? That's just pitiful. And finally, here's a kind of cute story. At seven years old, my brother called 911 just to say hi. Now he's a dispatcher and has to deal with all those kind of calls. That's kind of cute in a way. Like I know that there are kids that have called 911. Um, they want to speak to like a police officer or fire truck, you know, a fireman or whatever. And it does happen. Um, but I think that's really cute that he like grew up to actually be like a 911 dispatcher and I hope even though he like probably gets all these ridiculous calls I, I hope that he knows that he's doing such an amazing job and I I totally have respect for those people because yeah they have to deal with not only stupid calls like these have been but also the real calls and things that could be very traumatic and it would weigh on a person very heavily, I think, especially if, you know, your brother is compassionate and empathetic and stuff like that. I could see it would be really hard for a person to be a 911 dispatcher. So I totally respect them and they do such a great job. Anyways, so that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. And please, um, if you do like it, you know, Click the little like thumbs up dude and comment down below you know maybe do you have any weird 911 calls did you make a weird 911 call you know do you have any other embarrassing stories um comment down below and if you made it to the end of this video leave a i don't know fire truck or an ambulance or police car emoji and yeah subscribe please and be nice, be kind, and I'll catch you in the next video. Okay, bye.